I'm Stuart Thompson, I'm the editor of Digital TV Europe. I'm here with Jonas Engwall, who's the CEO of Bedrock. Jonas, can you tell us a little bit about the background to Bedrock and what the company provides? Yeah, so we're a B2B company. Uh, we basically build streaming platforms. We are formed as a JV within the Bertelsmann and RTL and MC world. So it's um, uh, basically we build uh, full streaming platforms across multiple uh, countries in Europe uh, for the big uh, media players. Um, it's a full solution, so to speak. Uh, you can choose to take parts of it or the, the whole streaming platform. Uh, we are 400 people. We've been doing this since 2008. Uh, we run uh, AVOD platforms, SVOD platforms. We have all kinds of content, uh, VOD, uh, live channels, linear, fast. Uh, so it's a pretty comprehensive um, solution. And, and I think um, given our background, given that we kind of come from the media industry, we have a pretty uh, unique understanding of the needs uh, for those players. And I think we're, yeah, we're doing quite well, but uh, you know, it's a, it's a fast moving industry, so. Absolutely. <laughs> now, what do you see as the, as the main current trends in streaming and how the industry has evolved in, in the last year or so? Uh, I mean, um, first of all, I think people are just more focused on streaming, so I think that's an important uh, development. I would say within streaming itself, uh, clearly you see, I mean, Netflix, the, Disney, uh, even the most SWOT players are, are going uh, into AVOD and, and creating basically hybrid um, a platform, which to me makes total sense. You, you, um, you know, in the industry, we speak about, a lot about uh, personalization, and and this is ultimately personalizing your offers to the different users. Uh, users are not the same; they they have different amounts of wallet and time, etc. So, so we see this obviously with uh, global players. Uh, we see it also with our, let's say, uh, local premium uh, broadcasters. They're going the same direction. Um, we're lucky here because we've been doing both SVOD and AVOD and actually a mix of it uh, since a long time. Uh, having said that, we're obviously evolving and, and the platform is, is uh, growing and expanding every day. But hybrid is definitely a trend uh, that we see um, staying and continuing to, to build. And how are you reacting to this? How are you navigating these changes? Yeah, I mean, it, it's an ongoing, uh, obviously our product is uh, organically growing and, and for everything we try to improve and adjust. And, uh, and I think hybridity we've had on the platform since some time and we're continuously improving and making it even better for our, our clients, making it even more uh, personalized, uh, ability to change uh, everything without, within the different tiers, uh, again, adopting as much as possible for the, for the end user. Okay. Now, can you tell us a little bit about some of the key streaming projects you're currently involved with? Yeah, since we're in Amsterdam, it feels good to speak about Videoland. Videoland is uh, one of the m uh, most, uh, let's say, prominent and biggest local premium players or SWOT players in, in Europe. Uh, we are currently migrating them from their existing platform onto the Bedrock platform. Uh, it, that's obviously a big project. Uh, we're almost uh, finalized. Uh, it's gone really well so far. So fingers crossed that we can continue to uh, do this uh, without any incidents. So, yeah. When you look at these projects, what are the main challenges you, you have to address? Uh, I mean, it's the migration in itself. I mean, there's lots of challenges. It's really <laughs> complex. But I think the ultimate challenge is the actual migration, right? Paying customers, moving them from one place to another. Uh, to my knowledge, to my knowledge, uh, there hasn't been a migration in the SVOD or streaming world this big in Europe ever. So it's uh, it's quite exciting, and I think that's uh, yeah, just keeping them happy, keeping them paying, keeping them using the platform is is the challenge. Yeah. Now you talked about the the move to advertising, streaming, and, and that is a key trend. What does the future of streaming look like from your perspective? Uh, more streaming. <laughs> uh, no, I think that. Uh, jokes aside, I think, uh, I mean, people will eventually, I mean, I think all consumption of, of content that we know today will be within the streaming kind of space. I mean, I don't necessarily think that a linear channel is, uh, is going to totally die. I mean, it's going to change form. The linear channels that we are in the past uh, consumed with, outside of streaming will be consumed within streaming. Because I think uh, we take sports, that, that is uh, appointment viewing, uh, live, so that's going to be um, 
So, so basically, I think streaming is going to basically swallow uh, everything, and all the content will be consumed within the streaming uh, world. Or uh, yeah, that's that's uh, that's how I see the future. Yeah, oh, <laughs> I'm sure that that sounds pretty pretty uh, much like how it's how it's developing. Jonas, yeah. thanks very much. Thank you so much. Thanks. Have a good uh, IBC. Thank you.